Welcome back to Listen, I Have an Idea. Today marks day one of Booktube with on 2016. I've been doing Booktube with on for the past two years, and it is essentially a reading challenge that lasts seven days and it spans multiple social media platforms. Right now, you're watching the YouTube platform challenges. This video is just going to be kind of an introduction to what I'm going to be reading this week, what the challenges are, or at least the YouTube overall Booktube challenges, and then my daily entry, I guess. There's different challenges that you have to do on YouTube every day for Booktube on so you're gonna be seeing that later on in the video. As always, booktube -a is hosted by Ariel Bissett as well as a number of other booktubers, bookstagrammers, people who just love books. I will post a link down below to the Twitter of who's hosting the Twitter sprints and you can also see who's hosting the YouTube challenges throughout the week as well as the ones that are on Instagram. The main goal of booktube -a is to read seven books in seven days and the challenges are for the books to pick out seven books in seven different categories. Now every year the categories change and so here is what the categories are this year. The first one is to read a book with yellow on the cover. Next, read a book after sunset. Then read a book you discovered through booktube -a Read a book by your favorite author. Read a book that's older than you. Read a book and then watch the film adaptation of that book. And finally, read seven books. So I'm really happy with all the books that I picked for this challenge, and I'm gonna show you what I have picked. So the first book, which has yellow on the cover, is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This is 371 pages. I'm about 50 pages in so far, and I'm honestly not a huge fan of it. It's a little bit too artsy for me, but I will see how it goes. I'm I'm hoping I can finish this one today, and you know what? I probably will finish it. 371 pages is a cakewalk. The second book that I'm going to be reading after sunset is Flights and Chimes and Mysterious Times by Emma Trevane. This is 307 pages, and honestly, I love the cover because it's very nighttime-ish, and I think it'll be really cool. I have not read any of the synopsises for any of these books, so honestly, I have I'm judging books by their covers for this entire challenge. I've done this for other booktube -a as well, and so I figured this one would be a really cool after sunset read. The third book challenge is to read a book you discovered through booktube. Now, in my other booktube -a you will have seen that I have read other books in this series, and I chose this book in particular because the spine matched really nice with all the other spines in my pile, and this is The City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Claire. It is by far the biggest book in like my entire TBR pile. It is 534 pages pages long, and I honestly, I'm not that interested in reading it. The other books didn't really grasp my attention, but the last one was a pretty quick read, so I figure this one will be a pretty quick read as well. The fourth challenge is to read a book by your favorite author. Now, I had a difficult time picking this because this author is not actually my favorite author, but the following book is, and you will see why I have decided to go with this one, but this is probably my second favorite author, and the book I have selected for this one, which is 369 pages, is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. This is a collection of a whole bunch of different short stories by Marissa Meyer, so I'm pretty sure this will be a really quick read. It is an expansion on the Lunar Chronicles, which I loved. I read the first two, two booktube with ago, Cinder and Scarlet, which you can see I have it right there. I'm missing a few of the other books because my sister's friend Emily, my sister is Emily, my sister's friend Carly has them, and she has a few of my other books that I've read in previous booktube a as well, but it's a collection of short stories. It'll be super quick because it is, I don't know, I think it's like five or seven short stories in here, and it's only 369 pages, so it'll be a really quick read. The fifth challenge is to read a book that is older than you. Now, this book that I've selected is the smallest book by far. It is 151 pages, and it's actually by my favorite author. This has been my favorite author since I was in eighth grade, so like nine years ago, which is crazy. Um, and it is Nora McClintock. She's a Canadian author, and this book is called Shakespeare and Legs. This book was published back in, where is it? I had it here, 1987. I was born in 1994, so this fits the criteria. It's nice and short at 151 pages. The font is quite big, actually, and her books are murder mysteries, and I'm really excited to read this one. I have two copies of this book. This one's in better condition than the other one, and the inscription in here is from 19... 95. The sixth challenge is to read a book and then watch the movie adaptation. Now, I was going to do Harry Potter for this one because I have not read any of the Harry Potter books. I've seen all the movies, of course, but I decided that would be really cheap and I don't know. I figure when I read Harry Potter, I want to read them all in like one sitting or like back to back to back and I don't want to have to break them all up. So for this one, I have chosen It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his last name. This one is quite big. It's 444 pages and it's like it's decent sized font, but the pages are so thin. I feel like this one's going to take me the longest to read out of all of them 
and I'm not 100% sure on the storyline. I did a tiny bit of research on this just to make sure that it was actually a movie. Like it says, now a major motion picture, but I wanted to make sure I was able to actually watch the movie through uh, during this challenge week. The final book of this challenge, which is my kind of elective, my spare book, one that I could just choose randomly. Um, this one's 444 pages and it is What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I don't know if this is a sequel book. I know uh, her, he, I don't know, I don't know if the author's a female or a male. Um, they wrote another book called My Life Next Door and that one's very popular too. I don't know if this is a sequel book to that, but I guess we will find out. Honestly, I love the cover and I love the spine so much. Purple's my favorite color and this is probably my favorite hue of purple, so I figured I would give this one a go. In total, by the end of Book Tubathon, I will have read 2,583 pages out of all of these books combined, and I will have watched a movie. I don't know how long that movie is. I have completed all of the Book Tubathon challenges in the two previous years. I can't wait to continue this year's Book Tubathon, and now it is time for the challenge. <laughs> so much for watching. You will probably see Emily's video next. It'll be uploaded within the next few hours. We are doing this separately. She probably won't be doing any of the video challenges. She'll just be talking about the books that she read throughout the day. And you will get two videos from us every day up until Friday when she comes home and we start uploading them together. So that's it for me. I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your booktubeathon and I will see you tomorrow with another video challenge. Bye!